Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 10th. So the 10th into the 11th, keep in mind that, you know, this will resonate whenever it resonates. It may not resonate. We'll see what happens. Typically, my readings are love readings. You know, sometimes they don't go that way, right? So we're just going to see whatever comes up. Oh, the lovers reversed. Wonderful, huh? So there could be some sort of breakup. There could be a disconnection. There could be, you know, a goodbye. You know, this could be, you know, we're not compatible. We're not compatible. So, you know, I've lost that attraction. There's no more attraction left. The attraction that you once had, it has dissolved. Ooh, ten of cups. Eight of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Reverse. Yeah, it's like there's lack of togetherness here. We barely communicate anymore. There's a lack of compromise. It's like, ah, uh, you know. Lack of appreciation. At one time it was really happy, right? But now it's unrealistic. It's gotten to the point where this isn't even realistic anymore. If there's no communication, then, and no togetherness, and no compromising, then there's no sense in me. Putting in any more effort, right? I mean, somebody's not putting in effort, and somebody's being unrealistic, you know? It's like they aren't even focusing on love. It's not about love right now, right? It's like... This isn't love. It's not love. This is something happening, okay? This is something happening right now. So let's see what this is. Yeah, there's an option. There's a new door. There's that, there's that key to the future, right? You have to make the decision. Do you stay where you're at in this connection that is no longer compatible? Or do you... Go down that new road. Yeah, somebody has been unrealistic staying in a situation that is very dissatisfying. I'm not satisfied. Definitely dissatisfying. I mean, somebody is really not satisfied in the relationship that they're in. Looking for more. Looking for that ultimate happiness. And maybe they're thinking, you know what? The time is now for me to go get that happiness that... I'm compatible with, you know, I'm looking for my soulmate here. Yeah, somebody is like becoming alive again. It's like, I'm not going to sit around and just sit here and wait, 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 wait for things to change. I think we are and no longer sitting back. It's like the time is now for me to take action. Let me get this, make sure this is so. <sighs> Looks like somebody is, is dealing with some conflict here. That's for darn sure. We have the Five of Wands or the Five of Swords. They're, they're really conflicted as, or they have been in a conflict where, you know, it's like there's been a lot of drama, there's been a lot of pettiness, there's been a lot of back and forth um, power struggles, you know, between you and them and yourself. You know, there's been power struggles in many different directions here. I feel as though you've been really... Perhaps you've been staying in a situation purely for stability and security, knowing that there's no love, okay? And now you've reached that point where, you know, the time is now, the time is ripe for me to become alive again and stop pretending, you know, stop staying in this state of, of rest, you know, nothing's, nothing's changing here. It's time for me to get up out, out, out of my bed, out of my house, out of my... Um,
my own pride, basically. It's like I somebody was really, mm, what's the word, um, going through a period of, of sorrow and suffering and it's like an ego pride death you know what I mean somebody was going through some sort of uh, well I would say recuperation through pain okay and I feel as though they had been dealing with their own pride dealing with their own ego of being rejected okay there's been some sort of rejection here that has made somebody go within to recuperate and now their time of recuperation is over and the time is now for me to go out there and find my happily ever after instead of staying in this situation that is dissatisfying you know I feel like somebody is deciding to to walk down that new path and unlock the door to the unknown it's like no I'm, I'm not gonna stay in this incompatible union anymore it's time for me to get back to my reality to get grounded and and put myself back out there so i feel like somebody is putting themselves back out there no longer holding on to the idea that what was once what once was was ever going to come back i think that somebody had been patiently waiting perhaps for somebody to come around or to change or whatever for quite some time but now they've reach some sort of turning point, you know, where now it's like, you know what, this isn't even, I don't even want to put any more effort into this. It's like, I'm not even here anymore. I don't need to be involved in this drama. I don't need to be involved in this, this game that's, that you're playing. I feel as though somebody is, is freeing themselves from a situation that is very petty and full of drama and was going nowhere. I feel that with this five of swords that somebody's ego had gotten in the way. I mean, this is a card of ego. It really is. Had gotten in the way of seeing things clearly. You know, the ego can do some pretty nasty things. So, and it doesn't see things clearly. I think that, you know, somebody was really, really prideful here. Had a lot of pride and it held them back from a, from a union that that could have been happy if pride wasn't in the way but pride was in the way and ego was in the way and there was too many power struggles so I feel like somebody has now decided to let that go and and oh go down the, the path that the new path okay because this is a decision To basically break up you know so this is the decision to say you know we're not it you're not it you're not the one the decision making the decision to you know and this contract and this conflict because there's no there's no growth in it so there's no reason for me to to put in any more effort yeah somebody's getting cut out I'm removing this obstacle. I'm no longer going to lie to myself. I'm not lying to myself. I think somebody has decided to remove an obstacle because I deserve happiness. I deserve happily ever after. It is. It's like somebody had held on to a false union, okay, a false contract. That's, that's what this is. But I think they've come to the realization that, you know, you know what, now I, I see this clearly and it's time for me to assert myself in a new direction and see things through different different lenses you know I think that we have a woman here that is finally making a decision to come out to come out of this circumstance that's what it looks like to me we have a woman could be a man could be a man but it looks like a woman to me I think we have a woman that was being unrealistic for quite some time she wasn't grounded she wasn't um, being practical but I feel like now she has if the tides have like at the turning point the tides have turned and she has instead of it's not no longer just about being practical it's like she's she's almost like turned cold it's like you know what no no I'm not interested. I am no longer interested in this. 
I have the power. I see this clearly. I'm awake. I think we have a, we have somebody here that has woken up from their sleep and they have decided there's no sense in me putting in any more effort. It's time for me to let go of the idea that this could ever work out and to remove this obstacle from my life. So somebody has made a decision here. Somebody has made a decision, and it wasn't an easy decision. I don't think it has been. I think it's this decision that has been made has taken quite a bit of time, and now you can expect the unexpected, okay? With these fives, expect the unexpected because this is a major change. It is. It's a change in, the change in perspective is going to change your life, okay? I think that our perspective has definitely been changed. I think that somebody um yeah somebody was focused on the wrong run one for for way 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 too long and they they've decided you know what i'm i think it's time for me to accept a new offer it's time for me to go after love so i do believe that there's a new offer coming in there's a new offer that is on the surface even if you can't see it yet for those of you that have disengaged from a false contract i think there's a new opportunity there is there's a new opportunity for love for those of you that have are seeing the situation as it is and no longer involving yourself in a drama filled egotistical situation i think for those of you that are you know seeing it clearly there is a new opportunity there is a new opportunity Now, this is insecurities. This is like... You're leaving somebody out. You're leaving them. It's like you're leaving them out in the cold. That's what you're doing. No matter what they offer you at this point, I think it's too late. Even if somebody is begging you, begging you to, you know, give them another chance, I don't think you're going to do it. And you may have somebody that this false contract that still wants a chance you may you may have somebody that was involved in this false contract that sees that you have taken the mask off that you have woken up and now they realize that you know they want there's this is this is the five of coins but it looks like he's got a cup and he's like begging please 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 and you're like what are you kidding me I mean, that's what I see here. It's like, this is the five of pentacles, but he's holding a cup with an offer and he, or he or she, and he's in, it's like, no, I can't, I can't. This isn't, this isn't logical. It's not logical. So you may have somebody that begs you for another chance. I mean, just say it. Somebody is thinking about what they've lost. That's for damn sure. But I think this is this is the uh, this is you being like uh uh no no pissed I'm pissed are you kidding me I'm pissed and not only pissed I'm hurt I've been hurt and now I've now I've come out of this hurt I've moved on so you could receive some sort of communication from somebody that you've broken up with seriously that you know begging you not to keep going or whatever say whatever and you're like no I'm not interested I'm just not I'm not interested yeah this isn't real it's 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 not it's like you don't have any integrity you don't have any integrity you don't you don't even have you can't follow through on any of your plans because you don't even really have a plan so I feel like you might receive some sort of message from somebody that is not honorable, so be prepared. I mean, I think that you have finally stepped outside. You've stepped outside of your pride, you know, because when we get rejected, that affects our pride. You've stepped outside of the conflict. You've dealt with the power struggles. You've dealt with the ungroundedness. You've focused on yourself. You've, 
you've uh, focused on everything but love, you've done went through your period of recuperation and healing and all that, you know, finally you decide, you know, it's time, it's time for me to get my ass in gear and put myself out there and find new love and you got new offers coming in and then this other person, this is how the universe works, right? This other person is like begging for another chance. Because they see that you finally walked away. You know, they see that you finally see the situation clearly. They see that you're done. They see that you're not happy. They see that you've gone cold on them. So they see that you've gone cold. And now they're they're begging for another opportunity. And, and I think that you're like, no. Mm -mm. I don't. You don't even know. You're just a, You're just so immature that I don't think that. You don't even know who you're dealing with. Seriously, you're such you're so immature that you're gonna get hurt if you don't turn around and walk away. Because you know there is somebody is there's a new passionate beginning here. There is. There's a new partnership on the horizon for this woman or man, whatever. Gotta say that, right? There is. With the Ace of Wands, there's a new passionate beginning. Some woman or man has re kindled her own flame. It's like this girl is on fire. This girl is on fire. And that, that's by Alicia Keys. That's what this is. It's like, no, <laughs> no, I am on fire. I don't I don't need to deal with your I don't have any sympathy. She doesn't have any sympathy for you. So I think that we have a girl or a woman or even a man, whatever you want to say. I think it's a woman. We have a woman that is on fire because she is no longer putting in any effort, energy, time into a false commitment and I think that there because she is on fire and she is vibrating so highly she's seeing things clearly that there is a new beginning in another direction there is there's a new offer here as well I think there's two options there's somebody that from your past that has been left out in the cold that is like poor poor pitiful me you know they see that you've come out they see that you're cold as ice to them that you don't want them anymore and they're like oh but you don't love me anymore <laughs> you're right I don't okay and that that's what she's like saying you know she's like <clears throat> you're right see ya and because she's so confident with who she is there's another opportunity there is a new op another opportunity so I feel like there's somebody that probably doesn't want you to broaden your horizons. They don't want you to move on. They did. They left. They didn't put in any effort. They didn't compromise. They didn't do anything to keep you, right? They didn't. But now that you're really gone, they're like, oh, poor, poor, pitiful me. Woe is me. And then you have this new opportunity because you're like, bam. Bam. Who's brought to their knees now? So... Anyhow, I feel like today is a day of unlocking the door to something new. As you lock the door to the past, you could say, I mean, this is, you could say this one's the past and this one's the new. The past is being locked and the new is being opened. Okay? It's locking the door to the past and unlocking the door to the future. Removing that obstacle of that false union that you had invested so much time in you know it's like you know that door is the key is is about to be well buried by a stranger in another land so anyway um i think there's a new opportunity there is a new passionate opportunity with somebody new See only love. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings. And see only the love within each person, including yourself. You resolute, you resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation. Brings about healing in undreamed of ways.
I do believe that there is a woman that has done a lot of healing. And I think this healing. And there could be a man too through self-love. And now she's she's totally, she's not even the same person that she used to be. Oh boy. New partner. A chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. Pay careful attention to the new people we send into your life. You will recognize them by your sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. There is. There's a new person here. There have, I know that there is, and it's because you have taken back your power and you're no longer crying in the, in the spilled milk. It's like, no. We don't. It's the Five of Cups isn't... I, I'm no longer wallowing over this loss. We weren't even compatible. I see it. I got it. I'm good. Bye.